Goodbye, snowbird. Hello, home. Oh, it's good to be home, and it's raining in Colorado. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we're going to keep this. Well, let me get under here so the camera doesn't get wet. I'm going to keep this quick. I'm going to do something that I never do. I never do this on the vlog, on the daily story for you guys. I'm actually going to jump back to Snowbird from my recovery session in the pool in the hot tub yesterday. Uh, I'm realizing maybe I shouldn't have filmed this in the hot tub, but anyway, that's I was recovering after the race, and this is a recovery vlog, meaning I'm going to jump back to yesterday's footage, explain what happened in the race, what I learned, maybe what I didn't learn, who knows, equipment failures. So I'm going to jump back to Snowbird, and that is going to basically be the rest of today's vlog. I flew back from Utah, safe trip, good to be home, good to see the family. They're uh, actually going to bed soon, and uh, it's raining, and this is life, and this is life. So, I'm going to stop back to Snowbird. This is what happened yesterday in the Speed Goat 50K. Amazing. I told Steve after the race, drive me to the pool <gasps> and hot tub immediately. Oh my gosh, guys. Speed Goat 50K 2018. Uh, what happened? Whoa, whoa. Before I dive into what happened, it's really important, all of you know this, well maybe you don't, but you're about to know this, it's really important to know thyself. Know thyself. Be just in tune with who you are, how you're created, and what your strengths are, and what your weaknesses are. I've been harping on this for a while now, Go with respect it. to my running, and I struggle with yeah. hills in the last, you know, 10 miles of a 50k. I just, my legs <laughs> look like toothpicks compared to the guys that pass me in the last 10 miles. Like they come by me with these tree trunk legs and it helps. It helps to have ridiculous amount of muscle. And today's race, the website says 14,000 vert. My watch said 11,000. I don't know. Bottom line, it was a lot of vertical. And I was in fourth place up until mile 20. Uh, right about mile 20, I got passed and I, m I moved into fifth place. Um, so the first 20 miles was a hoot. I was having a ball and rolling. And we were rolling, rolling, rolling. I was rolling uphill, rolling downhill. I don't know if I went out too fast. I may have. I may have. But I wanted to stick my nose in it. I didn't want to, you know, come out to Utah and not go for it. I was honestly gunning for everyone. Whoever was there, I was gunning for them. And there were a lot of tough dudes here today. Um, so... You know, who knows? I And I probably was, you know, my legs probably remembered last weekend at Copper Mountain. They probably remembered it and weren't too appreciative uh, of what I did last weekend when it came to the hills in the last 10 miles of this race. And it was such... I'm serious. I don't say this. I've never said this. Never do this race if you're out there. Like, just don't do it. I mean, I love you, Carl, the, guy, the race director, but, like, it is a bruiser and it'll beat you down to a pulp and I want to make sure I can walk after I'm 60 and like this race is just like it's intentionally obnoxiously hard um, you go I didn't realize 15 to 20 percent of the race was off trail uh, that's my prediction that it was 15 to 20 percent like we just were running through tundra and over rocks and like through creeks and it was not it was not a in my mind it was it was a race but it was like a running speed hiking adventure like i just i just am not good at the speed hiking gig and rookie mistake i should have had poles trekking poles um the leaders like first and second did not have poles but there were three or four guys in the top 10 that had poles and they flew up the uphills and so i'm not coming back to this race but in future races if there's ever vertical you know kind of like this where it's straight up the side of a mountain i will definitely have poles um, no doubt about it. So anyway, once I got to about mile 26 or so, and I realized like top 10 was kind of out of the question, I basically shut her down and I didn't walk it in, but I just kind of cruised it in because today's race, as I already mentioned to the GoPro, was an ankle breaker. Like I could not believe how rough it was. It probably sounds like I'm complaining, but uh, I'm just telling you what it was like. Reality. It was an ankle breaker. This course is an ankle breaker. Like ridiculous amounts of loose rock. Loose rock everywhere. All the time. 
Uh, not all the time, but I would say, yeah, you know, once again, maybe 25% of the course is just like loose rock. And so you're just like running over these scree fields and ay ay ay. So I'm so glad I came out. It was fun. Thank you for putting it on, Carl. Um, I'm not sure what you're thinking, and but it was it was it was a it was a fun time, and it was the bottom line. I'm so excited because like I know my weakness, and this this race just solidified knowing my weakness, and now I can focus on strengths like short uphill, like Pikes Peak Ascent, 13 miles uphill, boom, let's get her done fast. And I couldn't really get into a rhythm today where I can use my speed because believe it or not, I have a little bit of speed left in the legs. And that's why I did so well at last weekend's race, because it was a climber and a speed guy. Um, so, love you guys. Uh, Steve is off doing something. I think trying to acquire some wine for me. Good vintage. I'm just chilling at the pool. Just chilling at the pool. Uh, if you have any questions, ask below. Oh, you live and learn, right? And you just keep smiling. You live and learn. You keep smiling. and keep fighting. Know your weaknesses. Know your strengths. Take away for the day. There you go, folks. That was the recap of the Speed Goat 50K 2018. Learned so much. More than, let's say, like winning a race, you learn more in the moments of life when you maybe don't meet your goal, right? You can probably relate to that. In fact, question of the day, when was the last time you didn't meet a goal and you learned from it? And what was that experience like? Ooh, this is, this is a good one, this is a good one. Take a second, think about it. If you have time, comment below. I'd really appreciate it. And I think we can all glean um, wisdom from each other's life experiences down in the comments below. Uh, so that was, that, was, that was the race, and I learned so, so much about strengths, weaknesses, trekking poles. <sighs> Seek beauty, work hard, love each other. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Let it rain. Let it rain.